another day, another small little local lake to go explore. You excited, Hunter? I'm cold. I've heard good things about this one. Really good things about this one. We hear good things about all of them. Every lake until we get there, and they're like, oh, we're there biting yesterday. It's like, well, yesterday don't help me none. Out of our gated little community. Look at that. Look at how fancy we are. Got a gate just opening up. I can't see that gate. All we need is a the red carpet. Dark. Look at that. A red carpet. See, I should have mapped us already because I don't know which way to go. Hey, Let's Siri, see. Small little local, local lake. lake boat ramp. We were thinking the same thing. I can't get the answer to that on iPhone. <laughs> oh, it's all good. Get some rods out. Get some new rods out. So, question of the day. Yep. Would you rather always feel like you needed to pee really bad? Or always feel like you need to throw up. Oh Lord. I don't know. That's a tough one, Hunter. I'm on I'm gonna probably say I really feel like I need to throw up. Would you rather be super rich? Yeah, but not yeah be that's able fine. To, no, that's but, fine. Yeah. No, I'll work that's that's good. Listen. Yeah. But have like no nice things and not be able to buy them or be super poor but have all the nice things in the world i'm already poor but you couldn't buy nothing else if i got all the nice things in the world what would i need to buy food oh i got no food if i'm poor no i catch crappy all right guys we pulled up to a new lake that i've never seen before until this morning heard good things about it, though i've heard this lake is really really good we have exceptional water clarity like some of the best water clarity i've ever seen in florida really really good and they're going to be spawning guaranteed hundred thousand percent there's some spawning on this lake just got to figure out where and if we can't catch any big ones doing that we'll just have to mix it up a little bit and go do something else but either way already seeing beds already seeing holes it's gonna be a good day we're gonna break this one down and try to catch us some there's a Two little bitty bass right there. That hole. Oh, I could see them too. This water's clear. Hey, I can see my shadow. Yep. Does that mean it's spring? It means what? Does that mean it's spring or six more weeks? There's a big one, huh? Sit there. There's a big one. Oh, we could get down. I see a little one right there. I see a big one right there. Paul's big one and my big one might be different though. No, this is a big one. He said no, this is a big Well, one. like four four pounder. Four? Yeah. Right there. Let me get this. Right there. Well, it might be bigger four. I think it's four though. Alright y'all, we're about to have a domestic violence case here. What yep. happened, Kyle? Tell us what happened. Crikey. Okay, so I'm not real sure what happened, but there's a big female and then a little male, and then a little bit bigger male, it looks like. And they were all up here on the side of this bed, like not really in the bed, but like in this edge of this grass. And then all of a sudden she went out and then like he bumped into her and they just like started getting on each other and kind of hitting each other. Then swam like crazy up into the reeds. And then I ain't seen them since, but it was a big one. I thought it was a four pounder whenever it was running like that. It looks like it's actually a five and a half or so. You think he caught her cheating on him? I'm not sure what happened. He might have. He, he, we whipped out his wife beater and went ahead and drew, got him a, a Marlboro Red and a Budweiser and went ahead and, and, and taught her a lesson real quick. So hopefully she'll get back in there though. With I don't care which one. I don't care. I don't care if she's cheating on him or not. As long as she she bites my cricket. You ready?
fellas painting. That was fun. Let's watch them come here and eat that thing. It's big, big. It's like a 10? I don't know. It ain't 10. Huh? It ain't 10, but it's big. I can't say for sure it ain't 10. <laughs> I don't think it's 10. I don't think it's 10. Kyle. Kyle. I told you it's a daggum giant one. Kyle. Oh my. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh lordy, lordy. Kyle. <laughs> it might, Kyle. It's probably He's 10, dude. <laughs> oh, Lord. Have mercy. He might not be 10, but maybe I just ain't seen a big fish in a while. 10, but, yeah, yeah I, I might just have not seen that big of a fish in a long time. Dude, it might be 10. I don't know. What is it? Is it your PB? No, it's eight and a half. Eight and a half? Yeah. We just haven't seen a big fish in a while. I knew it was big, dude. I didn't know how big. Dude, that thing is huge. I'm gonna put it here for just a second. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this beauty. Kyle, look how close this thing is. Oh my gosh. All right, that is the end of my Florida actual pre-fishing videos. Practice starts bright and early in the morning for Lake Okeechobee. First Bassmaster Elite starts in just a few days. So we got to practice for three days straight starting tomorrow. And then we get an off day and then the tournament starts. So looking forward to this one. Not, that, not because I'm going to catch them, but just because it's such a big lake. It's a big kind of playing field. Lots of puzzle pieces to put together this week and try to zig and zag and do just everything right this week. Try to just try to catch them. But Rolling in off some momentum of catching some really, really big ones. Hunter, Hunter broke her PB. I caught a seven, two seven and a half, and an eight and a half over the past week. So been catching some really, really big ones. But the biggest one was that 844 in this video right here. So that's a giant. No matter where you are, eight pounders just don't come around that often. That was a dang fun bite. Really fun bite. And she would just set up acting exactly how you want them to act. But now gonna transition a little bit fish a little bit different we got to warm up we bend some rods stretch some line now it's time to go try to fill a lot I caught up. my PB like 10 foot from the 8 she did she caught her personal best right out in front of where the 8 pounder was actually spawning so that's kind of unbelievable when they pick an area they like to spawn in lots of them get in there and I also believe she lost one close to seven before she caught the five and a half out of the same bed I think she hooked one about seven, actually. We did talk about it after, and we agreed that we don't think it was the same fish. I didn't think it was the same fish, but it was still a big one. Either way. Appreciate you guys watching. We got to go rig a couple rods. Look at all of them I got behind me. Got to go rig some. And, and then we're going to go answer those questions. Answer some questions and start practice in the morning. So, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all.